Hello and welcome to Zaxcom's Diva and Fusion introductory video. We will cover a range of topics related to the operation of your state-of-the-art portable multi-track file-based digital audio recorder. First things first, let's compare the Fusion and the Diva product line. As of the production of this video, Zaxcom is manufacturing the Fusion, Fusion 12, Diva 5.8, and a Diva 16. The major differences between these recorders is their primary recording format, their built-in mirror drives, their number of record tracks, and, in the case of the Fusion, the optional effects package. The Diva 4 and Diva 5 are also capable of running the latest software and differ similarly from the current product line. Although individual chapters may assume you own a certain recorder, the underlying architecture of all of the recorders is consistent, so the information will most likely apply to your recorder as well. Here are some of the features that are common to all six recorders. A color touchscreen and straightforward operation. 8 mic line full-size XLR analog inputs with phantom power, high-pass filters, and limiters. Eight AES inputs, independently routable from the eight analog inputs. High-quality headphone output and at least six line-level analog audio outputs. Eight AES digital audio outputs. A six-pin FireWire port, which acts as a host for mirror media, including external hard drives and external DVD RAM drives the ability to switch power between an NP1 style battery and external 12 volt to 18 volt DC power via the 4 pin XLR input. USB port for using an approved keyboard. Serial interface port. Word clock output. 5 pin LIMO timecode input output with built in timecode generator. A 10 pin Hiroshi connector option to connect an external slate mic at line level. The ability to record to the primary medium and copy or convert to a secondary mirror medium simultaneously. MARF, which stands for Mobile Audio Recording Format, a disc format which was designed specifically for the task of reliable audio recording. Finally, the Fusion and Diva are required for the use of the Mix 8 or Mix 12 consoles, which are extremely power efficient and lightweight. The currently shipping product line also features eight assignable front panel faders, a compact flash mirror drive, digital direct outputs for analog inputs 1 through 8 via the AES output, while maintaining the output mix routing to the analog output buses. Sample rate converting digital inputs to make digital interconnection easier. The Fusion line records to compact flash media as its primary drive and a built in compact flash drive for mirroring. The Fusion can record up to 10 tracks. The optional effects package enables EQ, compression, and expansion of audio in real time. The Fusion 12 can record up to 12 tracks and comes with the effects package. It also features a built-in 4-channel, line-level, analog-to-digital converter to allow the Fusion 12 to receive up to 12 analog signals without any need for outboard gear. The Diva product line records to a 2.5-inch drive mounted in an aluminum chassis which may be outfitted with an approved hard drive or solid-state disk. Current Divas also have a built-in DVD-RAM mirror drive. The Diva 5.8 can record up to 10 tracks, while the Diva 16 can record up to 16. The Diva 16 also features a built-in 4-channel, line-level, analog-to-digital converter identical to the Fusion 12. The discontinued Diva 4 does not have a built-in compact flash drive. It has four assignable front panel faders. It can record a maximum of eight tracks at up to 96K. The discontinued Diva 5 is identical, except that it may record up to 10 tracks at 192 kHz. 
remember that all of the Fusion and Diva recorders are part of the same family. You may need to translate some of the instructions or explanations to your specific recorder, but the underlying theory and operation remain consistent. The primary card becomes primary drive, and don't forget that the Diva has an additional mirror drive option, internal DVD. This video will begin with an 18-minute quick start guide designed to get a new Fusion owner and or operator set up and recording quickly no matter their mixing interface. We also will cover important topics like matrix routing, mirroring, and Mix 12 operation in depth. Our video moves very quickly for a first time user, so keep your pause and rewind buttons handy. These recorders do so much that every sentence counts. Our video moves very quickly for a first time user, so keep your pause and rewind buttons handy. These recorders do so much that every sentence counts.